Okay, here's a quick breakdown of the dwell valve. The dwell valve will come apart as such. Spring comes off of that, spring pops off of that. Those three components don't need those right now because the parts I want to show you are all within this and the adjustment of the adjustment uh, screw versus the piston and uh, 2.5 millimeter. I find it easier to use a screwdriver as such. Take an Allen wrench, put it through that hole and then start on screwing that. And this is the screw you want to check for tightness. This one, if it gets loose, the piston will, will it'll be floating. It'll be moving in and out. So as it's floating, it's changing your dwell. So you could get crazy shot strings. And a little bit of movement can mean uh, a very ugly shot string. So pull this off, that goes to the side, and then I just uh, push and pull the screw out. I'll show you something about that in a second. And then inside here, there's like three washers. There's one, two, three, three washers. And they just go inside this little cavity here. That cavity there is, uh, well, that's pretty tight get my Allen wrench back. Um, as you screw that, you can see it's starting to recess. That's what's pulling everything in and out. I like putting this together for the first time, just putting it all the way so that the washers don't get up. It keeps everything aligned there. Okay. And on this screw, you'll see there's an o-ring on it and this screw is uh, 16 millimeters long um, if you have the shorter one which I believe is 12 and it has Loctite on it you need to source yourself uh, this longer screw uh, Ace Hardware had, had the ones that I have in stainless I use stainless uh, uh, RTI is using just the uh, what is it just the plated the plated steel but I got stainless steel um, I forgot the dimensions but if you've got take the one you have just go and make sure that it is uh, longer I think this one is uh, let me break this loose is 12 yes it is 12 so uh, you want to go from a 12 to a 16 then you need and if you have the 12 and not the 16 you need to source the screw and a 2.5 by 1.5 o-ring which is the same one RTI uses for the 177 pellet pusher um, and you'll need one or two of those so get two because You'll have to figure that out as you go back together. Uh, there were some variances in the machining. So uh, this particular valve uses one O-ring. You can see the one O-ring on there. So um, uh, to go back together, you put your O-ring on there, put the screw right back through, put your washers back on, Sorry, I don't have fingernails and big fat stubby fingers. Slide these off the edge of the table. So, all three of them, all nice and tidy. And screw that in. All right. And take your Allen wrench. I use a three millimeter. And again a 2.5 screwdriver and then I I do this pretty tight because I don't want it backing out because that's what happens um, that'll back out and then this gets real sloppy but this one came out really good um, you can tell that if you have an o-ring because you can kind of bend this a little bit and it'll spring back in 
but one thing you want to make sure is you can turn this and you can see the adjuster doesn't turn. See how my adjuster's not turning? So this, this part's not turning. So that's telling, you know, and that's nice and tight and that's the way it should be. But you, like I say, you can, you can bend it a little bit and you can feel it bend because that's the O-ring on the head giving you uh, a little bit of play. But that plays perfect play. Um, now this is cinched into place and this isn't moving because they're slop. So if that screw gets loose, the piston can move around and cause severe uh, inconsistencies. So, and then, uh, so basically this is all back together except for uh, putting all my other pieces on, putting the spring on all the way up, putting that on, and then I kind of give this a little, little wiggle to make sure that it gets up on top. And then that goes back in the gun. And then before you shoot it, back this out a bunch so you don't accidentally uh, lodge a projectile in uh, the barrel because you didn't have enough air to get it out all the way. Um, so I like, like I've said in my other videos, I like to start with this open and then bring it into my point to where I want to be. That way it'll keep you from lodging stuff inside the barrel. But uh, there you go, that's the glove off.